following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. All right, back in the Domino's Post Game Report. Carson Newman prevails over Imre and Henry, 105-77. to Adam Cavalier alongside sophomore forward Jack Browder. Jack, quality night. 22 points, 8 rebounds, lead the team in those two categories. Fifth time you've been on the plus side of 20 points this season. But you did it with three other guys. First time in program history. Four players all score 20. Uh, wow. Break down the your game to start. What, what, what made tonight successful? Second straight game for you where you've scored 20 on even eights. Um, well, I mean, well, I mean, we're just sharing the ball and we're not turning it over. I mean, seven or six turnovers to seven, seven to 20 something assists. Like that's that's just amazing. We're, we're sharing the ball well. We trust each other. I mean, Trey eight assists. Uh, that's amazing from a point guard with one turnover. So I mean, um, just trusting each other. Um, I mean, I didn't know that was the first time in school history with four guys scoring 20. And it was I th I did something in the locker room. I was like John and Nick. I was like, which one of y'all had 20? Because I didn't know. Like, <laughs> we're just I think we're just playing confidently right now, all of us. Um, and um, confidence and trust. I mean, that's gonna brew good offense. I think if you were to ask me. Hey, who had 20 tonight? And I said, ah, oh, nobody did. It, every one, every single one, you, Ben Beaker, Trey Hubbard, Nick Brennigan, every single one of them felt like a quiet 20 tonight. Um, is that just a it, borne out by the fact that uh, no one's really hitting a 6-0 run or a 9-0 run by themselves? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, I think that just comes down to us trusting each other. I mean, I mean, you could – some one of us come down here, hit a, hit a three. We're not – that guy's not thinking, oh, it's my turn next time. I just hit one. It's my turn to come shoot this next one. We're not thinking that. We don't have that mindset. Um, we have a mindset of, you know, one more, get the best shot we can get um, every possession. And also our offense stems from our defense too. I mean, our defense performed in the second half, and that shows why we scored the ball at a high clip. Um, obviously, the first half our defense was not as good, and we weren't finishing at the rim. So then those two combined make it – uh, just inefficient, and then, um, yeah, I think just our, and our defense, our, especially our defense, leads to our offense in the second half. How critical to that end was the rebounding, uh, especially in the second half. E and H missed 19 shots in the second half, only had an offensive rebound three times. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Coach Hart on that. I mean, we're um, I, we're one of the top rebounding teams in the country, and um, we have to do that every night um, to give us the best chance to win. Um, and we we know that um, we know that going into every single game. Uh, I mean, Ben Beaker's been an animal. Um, I try my best to get the boards. Ren comes in, gets boards. Uh, John's going up there. Nick, Trey, everybody's coming in to get rebounds because we know how to, how important that is to us, especially um, on defense because you can you can play amazing defense and then you give up an offensive rebound and that whole possession doesn't matter because they just score off that. It really does feel like a pl platoon effort, and I'm going to say this from two perspectives. The third straight game, you've had three guys with at least five assists. Uh, and this is it, – it's crazy to me. Five guys all had at least four rebounds. Nobody in double-digit rebounding. How critical is that that those areas can come from so many different sources? Yeah, I mean, that's. I think that's just so important. I mean, uh, everybody, everybody getting involved, everybody um, getting in the paint, getting the ball. I mean um, – that's just that's just highly important. I mean, I think CB says the stat or something with uh, our guards getting our guards rebounding at a high level, and our forwards and, and middle forwards doing doing their job too. We win at a high clip. Um, so I think I th we just understand that. You know, we we hear CB say that we buy in. Um, we try to do what they say. We make them. Uh, we try to not let them have to beg us to do this and do that. Um, I think. We just trust that, and that, that's what's going to um, give us the best chance to win. Turn your attention Saturday to the road in Lenore Ryan. You've had elite performances here at home. How do you carry that over to Shuford Gym on Saturday? Yeah, I, just confidence. I mean, uh, we, we know what we can do. Um, starts on the defensive side of the ball and rebounding, finishing possessions on the defensive end, getting talons. Um, and uh, we know that going in, and that's going to be the goal. All right, Jack, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Thank you. That is Carson Newman, sophomore forward. Jack Browder as Carson Newman prevails over 